More updates, another tool for the router table, next. I'm Rick, and this... Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. <laughs> this is the shack. Hello and welcome. Hey, if you're new to the channel or if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for taking some of that valuable time out of you. I truly, truly appreciate that. And since you're here, why not subscribe? When you do, don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when the videos do come out. In this video, we're going to put together my new coping sled. Yes, I know Infinity has one. I happen to like Woodpecker better. I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm just gonna say I know this one is made in the USA. I just got this today, haven't had a chance to even open it up yet. Been busy with other stuff, so let's open this up, check it out, and let's get this together real quickly, and that's gonna be on this one, so make sure you're subscribed. Check up here, I'm going to make a playlist of all the updates happening in the shop this year, or I should say the last three months, from November, to January. All the new tools are showing up, everything's coming together. It's just a matter of destroying the shop, getting rid of all this old stuff, putting it aside, getting all the new in, setting it up, and getting ready to do major projects this year. I'm hoping that everything works out. So let's open this up. I am excited to check it out. Tell you what, they packaged the heck out of this. I'm, I was cutting all around here going, where in the heck's the lip? Where's the, so I finally found him. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Man, now that's a lot. All these parts, cool, nice solid aluminum handles. They got the knobs, all the hardware. And it's cool, hardware is all labeled D, A, C, B. Woohoo, yeah. Now that I can follow. I know my ABCs A, B, D, E, I, G, F, K, L, M, N, O, Z. Yay. There we have it. Woodpecker Iron Grip Coping Sled. Wow, that is nice. Beautiful. These little slide guys on the bottom here, I don't know, I forget they call them, they're plastic Teflon or something, and it makes it smooth, they slide. All right. Assemble the iron grip coping sled. First thing we need to do, this is the fence. This is the longest one, so that fits on here. And we have to have bag D, which is this one. All the screws and the T-slots, nuts. See, the slots are back here. So the fence, the bottom looks like it slides on here. One, two, three, four, five of these. Make sure there's, so there's one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, it'll go right there. Dang, it's cold out here, man. My fingers don't want to work. Okay. That's those. Set this down. Now this bottom should slide through all these like that. Ah, I got one too far down there, didn't I? No, I didn't. Right there it is. There we go. Now the two dowel pins, I guess, is to line it up. 
So I guess I just flush it with this here. That is the front edge because this, I guess you, when you're running it through, it's this edge against the router fence. So that's what these are like a lining dowels. You got little holes in the back of which they fit into. So you push this back against that and flush it against this. And that's where you want to tighten this up at. I just snug these up. Not going to go crazy tight on them. So you can see the dowel pins right there. So now they're a little bit tight, but I'll pop them out. There you go. So that should be lined up there. That's nice. That's cool. They give you some aligning pins. So that's something I can keep with the router table and continue to keep it in line. Uh, now we got one of these sacrificial fences to put on. Does it matter which ones? There's four holes. Looks like, yeah, this way. So I put in three and it don't look like I put in one there yet. Wow, these things don't even fit in there. Are you kidding me? Oh man, no way, dude. These don't fit in there. <sighs> man, I didn't know they had to be that way in here. Now, talk about some close tolerances. This is ridiculous, dude. <sighs> yeah, that's not, that's not going to make easy to do. Sorry for the interruption, but I had to give you an update. I got a hold of Woodpecker. Told them about this piece, how very difficult it was. Uh, I guess this is actually for another product. So it's for the copy sled and something else. He said they should be wide enough that that quarter 20 bolt should slide through there. Told them mine does not. So he's going to make those aware who need to be aware of it. And they're going to check it out to make sure there's nothing else going on. And I know it might be minor, but I pay enough for this. I don't want to take any chance of avoiding the warranty. I said, okay, so I have your permission to drill this out so this will fit. And he goes, yeah, no problem. And I paid enough money. I don't want to do something like this and they say, well, you know, you, you avoid a warranty because you did this. No, I am protecting my interest basically. <laughs> so I'm going to take a drill. We're going to drill this thing out real quick just so that hopefully the screw will slide through. So I want to make sure that slides through there like it should. Oh, perfect. Now that's the way it should be. So let me do all these. Now I don't know if there's a chance that where these are made versus coming to the West Coast, if maybe the MDF itself expands, I'm not sure. But at any rate, at least now the screws fit through, they are correct. I'm gonna put that like that. I'm gonna slide this back on and it should work. At least I can tighten them up now. I couldn't even tighten them before. There's no way. I'm just gonna flush it with this in right now. I just want to make sure I can tighten these up. Oh, look at that. I can use my fingers. It tightens. Yay. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I can tighten these off camera. I'm just letting you know it's an update. Look at that. Oh, man. Sweet. Now I'm happy. Look at that. Yeah, that stays on there. That ain't moving. Perfect. So we got this taken care of. It was a small, minor issue. Woodpecker is aware of this. If you had an issue like this, I would like to know because I hope I'm not the only one. Quick update, back to the video. Now I guess I use bag C. First thing to do is get the two long machine screws. That one. They go with the slots. Okay, these long ones go, and these four slots, two center ones right here. One washer, and these locking nut, lock, lock nuts. Got the little keeper on it.
Yeah, that's good. We're going into bag A, the two button head screws, only two in there. You have these slots here, that's where these slide into, because the recess is like that. They're all the same, all aluminum machines, so this goes in there like that. There we go. And I guess they all get a T-track nut on them. That is those two. So these other four on the back You have four countersunk for these screws. They go in there, so put four of these in there. Basically all four corners. And they all get these on them. Two in the back. And they all get the little T-track slot nuts. All right, those are all done. Next step. Well, these got to go through here because that goes down there and this gets nylon washer and then take the C sticker off that, put it on that bag, goes there, nylon washer and this to the knobs. Okay, that's done. I guess the top track, that is these two, they slide on over here like this. Looks like it go all, all the way back to these. A little finessing, but again, I don't know where they're supposed to be. I get, looks like bag B now. I'm gonna need nylon washer, hex bolt. So I get these two long ones. Nylon washer, nylon washer, put that aside. And I need the two handles. Goes on both outer edges, so it should go on that one. Should go on that one, so let's see if it fits through. Ooh, nice. So you get a... Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now I have to do the clamp itself. which is this thing, and it just slides. I probably should have put that on first. I don't know if I can get through there or not. <laughs> nope, can't do it. Yeah, it figures, Rick. All right. <laughs> it won't go past the damn handle. Ay vey, bubba. So you got to put this on first, then do these things. Jeez. All right, that's done. Now we got the guard that goes here. Last piece goes on. Whoa, almost dropped that bad boy. That goes on there. I could put them on there, I guess.
put this on there. This goes on there. Wow, and that is it. That's everything. But that's it, man. A little bit challenging, but that is it. So I am done for this evening. Really, really nice, man. I mean, this is a... This is an extreme coping sled. <laughs> it's nice. So thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back check. Build it! Yeah, for your sanity. Ah. I can't wait to get this going. I got my router bits, they arrived. This arrives. I am ready to start doing some serious projects and really start getting out some more and more videos. Thanks again for watching. We will see you next video. <laughs>